The Permian Basin of West Texas and Southeast New Mexico is about 400 kilometers from east to west and 480 kilometers from north to south. It is one of the great continental basins of the United States, the southernmost of the Williston, Michigan, Illinois, Anadarko, and Permian basins. This basin is an important contributor to the strength of the U.S. economy. Today, at around 2 million barrels of produced oil per day, the Permian Basin accounts for over 20% of U.S. oil production. In spite of its importance, most people are unaware of the basin and its significance to the U.S. economy. Geologists separate the Permian Basin into six subregions, Northwest Shelf, Central Basin Platform, Delaware Basin, Midland Basin, Valverde Basin, and the Eastern Shelf. This basin architecture is hidden beneath a relatively flat and arid region where few people live. Up to 8,000 meters or five miles of sediment fills the basin. Most of the sediment in the Permian Basin was deposited in Paleozoic time from Cambrian to Permian or from about 530 to 250 million years ago. If the basin is filled with Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Mississippian, Pennsylvanian, and Permian sediments, then why do we call it the Permian Basin? Perhaps it is because it contains one of the world's thickest deposits of Permian sediments. Permian sediments occupy about half the basin fill. Permian Age reservoirs also contain the majority of trapped oil within the basin. Permian Basin deposition history can be classified into three major stages. The first stage lasted from Cambrian to Mississippian time, when a broad sag basin called the Tobosa Basin existed in the Permian Basin region. This was part of a broad, shallow marine shelf that defined the southern margin of North America. In early Paleozoic time, the Tobosa Basin filled chiefly with carbonate and fine grain clastic sediments and ceased to exist as a distinct basin after deposition of platform limestones and black shales during Mississippian time. The second stage of basin development occurred in late Carboniferous, that is Pennsylvanian time, when the Permian Basin region became tectonically active. Collision of Laurentia and Gondwana land to form Pangaea led to faulting and rupturing of the Tobosa Basin. Significant faulting, tectonic uplifts, and deeply subsiding basins formed in response to formation of the northwest-southeast trending ancestral Rocky Mountains. The rising central basin uplift subdivided the former Tobosa Basin into the Midland and Delaware basins with adjoining shelf areas. Pennsylvanian strata consists of cyclical shales, carbonates, and sandstones deposited in a broad spectrum of depositional environments, including sediment-starved basins, shallow marine carbonate shelves, fluvial coastal plains, and deltas. The last stage in formation of the Permian Basin happened in Permian time, 300 to 250 million years ago, when the basin filled in completely. The Permian Basin region at that time lay near the equator and hosted a broad spectrum of shallow marine depositional environments, from hypersaline sabka to tidal flats, low energy open marine shelves, grainstone shoals, and shelf edge reefs that prograded into the basins. Thick sequences of organic rich shales, siltstones, sandstones, and limestone filled in the deeper parts of the basin. The Great Permian Reef and associated units exposed in the Guadalupe Mountains National Park is a superb representative of this stage in Permian Basin development. Finally, in late Permian time, about 260 million years ago, the whole area became a huge sabka that filled with thick evaporites. Since the first commercial hydrocarbon discovery in 1921, the Permian Basin area has produced significant volumes of oil and natural gas. Hydrocarbon production peaked in the 1970s and declined for several decades until new techniques of horizontal drilling and hydraulic fracturing 
of organic rich mudstones and associated fine grained facies led to greatly increased in the early 21st century. It is now clear that several organic rich sedimentary horizons in the Permian Basin contain hydrocarbon deposits. The richness of these deposits combined with drilling and completion technology that allows us to commercially extract oil and gas from them ensures that the Permian Basin will be an important part of the U.S. economy far into the future. <laughs>